Hello, viewers of The Pioneer. How are you doing? I hope you are healthy and well. Today, as The Pioneer team, we will analyze the developments regarding Russia-Ukraine war with a map. The front line is quite intense. The troops of both armies continue to clash. Ukrainian defense forces on the Zaporizhia and the Donetsk front line are making a great effort to causing heavy losses to the Russian army. According to reports, the Russian army is now in a difficult situation as many points. However, the Russian army is still trying to continue its attacks because if the Russian army does not continue its attacks here, there will be a great loss of prestige. The loss of prestige both in the international arena and in the Russia's domestic political dynamics may lead to a rapid retreat on the front line. Therefore, the more the Ukrainian armed forces wear Russia down in this process, the better. So, what is the latest situation on the front line? Let's take a look at the developments together. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring the Russia-Ukraine war to your screens. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. You can also support me and my team by using the super thanks button below the video. Thank you for your all supports. Let's start if you are ready, the Pioneer reports. Let's start our report by analyzing the latest developments on the Zaporizhia front line. As you know, this area is active, but the movement here is more related to the attacks of the Russian army. Ukrainian armed forces have taken a full defense positions in this region. This is the way it should be. In this way, Russian forces are inflicting heavier losses. According to the latest reports, the Russian armed forces have been attacking the western part of Robotny in recent days. We see that the Russian long-range weapons are very active in this region. However, there is no result. Ukrainian defense forces continue to hold their positions in this region to a large extent. We also observe that the Ukrainian armed forces are under pressure on the Malayatok Makta line. According to the reports, the Russian armed forces are trying to establish a new line through Novoprokopovka towards this region. Here we can talk about an attempt by the Russian armed forces to get behind the bridgeheads of the Ukrainian armed forces. However, despite intense clashes in the area, the Ukrainian armed forces managed to maintain their positions in the region. The Russian armed forces suffered heavy losses during the attacks. The borderline on the Zaporizhia front line remains stable in general. Let's continue with the artillery activity in the region. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted positions of the Ukrainian armed forces in Pavlivny, Pityakhatki, Malaysia-Urbyanka, Novodaryivka, Rykhov and Novodanilivka. In turn, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted units of the Russian armed forces deployed in Jerobyanki, Nistryanka, Kopani, Novoprokopivka, Verbov, Novopokrovka, and Novoferyovka. Let's continue our report by analyzing the latest developments on the Donetsk front line. Let's first see the region on the map. As you know, routine attacks by the Russian army continues in this region. According to the latest reports, Russian troops supported by the artillery and armored vehicles on the Donetsk front line seems to have entered the southern part of the Novomikhailovka. In this area, we can say that the Ukrainian armed forces have established their defense line further back. We also see that the Russian armed forces have managed to occupy new positions west of Marinka. After the shelling, the Russian armed forces also launched an offensive near Nivelskoe. We cannot say that they have made any progress in this region yet. Fierce clashes continue. The fighting around Nivelskoe has largely become routine. However, there have been no border changes. The Russian armed forces are also carrying out offensives near Permanskoe in the Terninskoe and Severnoye areas. It is possible to speak of a complete Russian repression in this area. There are attacks by the Russian armed forces along the entire Donetsk front line. We also mentioned the captures territory, but let us remain this. There have been Russian attacks in this region for about three months. Despite this, the Russian army was still able to advance by matters. The Ukrainian defense forces in this region should be congratulated. But this is not enough. We see that in some areas, the Ukrainian defense forces are stubbornly resisting. In some areas, they do not apply the strategy of retreat. If retreat is favored in some areas, it will lead to a heavier losses for the Russian army. The staff headquarters of the Ukrainian armed forces should think about this issue. If this war has turned into a war of attrition, 
In addition, the Russian armed forces, supported by long-range weapons, attacked the fortifications of the Ukrainian armed forces from the southeast, from the industrial zone east of the Krutuka Balka and the north of the Koking plant. The main factor in the Russian offensives in this area is the Russian long-range weapons. If the Ukrainian armed forces carry out tactical strikes against the Russian long-range weapons here, the pressure of the Russian army will be greatly broken. Let us continue with artillery activity in the region. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted positions of the Ukrainian armed forces in Pobeda, Gorogoyevka, and the town of Krasnogorovka, Briyachi, Orichetin, and Solotka Balka. In turn, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted positions of the Russian armed forces in Alexandrovka, Estromikhailivka, Donetsk, Valiodny, Kurtaya, Balka, and the village of Krasnogorovka. Now let's move on on the developments on the Bakhmut front line. According to the latest reports, the Russian armed forces have achieved strategic successes on the Bakhmut front line. In fact, it is not quite correct to characterize it as a success. As a result of the Ukrainian army's tactical moves, the Russian army had the opportunity to advance. The Ukrainian army is pulling back its defense lines further in this region. In this way, they are trying to create a more secure line. According to the latest reports, the Ukrainian army continues to largely maintain its areas of dominance on the Bakhmut's southern flanks. There are attacks by the Russian army, but there has been no change. On the other hand, there are attacks by the Russian armed forces around Bakhmut city center and north of Bakhmut. According to the latest reports, Russian troops are trying to advance along three kilometers wide front in the Ivanivsky area. However, so far, we can say that the attacks of the Russian army has not been able to make any progress here either. There are also fierce clashes between the Ukrainian armed forces and the Russian armed forces near Kromov and Bogdanovka. In this region, we see that the Ukrainian troops have started to establish a defense line further back. Probably here too, the Ukrainian army will retreat a leader for and strong defenses. Russian forces are also trying to penetrate the main Ukrainian fortifications at Chesoviar, but there is no results. What do you think? Do you think the retreat strategy of the Ukrainian armed forces is correct? Will the Ukrainian army's near defenses be able to stop the Russian army? What do you think about the inability of the Russian army to advance on the Donut front line? Let me know in the comments. I read and care about all your comments.